And the above Benin Eba Obayaware II has asked the leaders of the People's Democratic Party and the All Progressive Congress to emulate ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, who congratulated President Muhammadu Buhari after losing the 2015 polls. The monarch gave the charge on Wednesday during a meeting he had with the leading candidates ahead of the September 19th governorship election in the state. In less than three weeks from now, the people of Edo State will be going to poll to elect their governor for the next four years. One disturbing trend is the high scale of violence that has characterized the build-up to the election. Speaking during the meeting, the revered traditional ruler expressed his displeasure over the attitude of some politicians, saying he is unhappy that the state has been in the news for the wrong reasons and that the election should not be a do-or-die affair. Use his his his, uh, his state magic, state magic uh, status, elder state magic status to bring peace and eradicate, stop this violence, stop shooting. You can campaign, why have you? Please. You can see how much energy we have used to our big. And uh, it's worth it. Because we want to surprise everybody else that is thinking that those things are going to fall down. Why should they just take fall down? Those things should be quiet. PDP candidate and incumbent governor Gordon Obasaki, APC flag bearer Osage Izeyamu, ex-APC national chairman and former governor of the state Adam Soshomele, Chief John Odigi Oyegu, among others, were in attendance. This is one, two, and four. To preserve the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I have sworn to protect the lives and property of the people I love. I want to assure our Father and all those present that we on our part pledge to ensure. From our supporters, our followers, and they conduct themselves this week through our campaign and during the election. And my record speaks for me. I didn't need any more to win the election twice. So I'm the same person. If I didn't promote violence for myself, I cannot possibly promote violence for another person. An ADC gubernatorial candidate and some other Edo indigents lauded the initiative of the Oba. Election is not a do or die affair. The way it is supposed to be done, as I keep saying all the time, the minute you decide to be a politician, you are the servant of the people. And ADC recognizes that. I do recognize that. Royal Majesty, I've done with the law to advise all the candidates in this uh, election. And I can tell you that today, that uh, history has been made in those states, and that is true will continue. The purpose of being here today is to actually seek for peace from the Oba. And the Oba has assured us and prayed for us and make sure that this election coming September 19 is going to be peaceful. As governorship election in Edo State is forthcoming, analysts say the electorate must be allowed to cast their votes peacefully and not under threat of violence. Hence, the fate of any of these political parties winning is dependent on the choice of Edo indigents.